never had a girl like you. Oh, uh, when we locked up, when you passed, couldn't look away. Ain't never never that Welcome you. back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, in this video, I'm going to be first going through my budget because finally I've been able to set up my iPad and um, work on my budget sheet. And then after that, we're going to do the cash stuffing. Um, I am doing this extremely late because I've just been so busy. Um, I've been out for a while. I had another procedure. I had a vacation. So yeah i'm finally getting to it but let's just go ahead and get started so um this budget sheet is going to be a part of my budget book um i've been working on it and i'm still working on it it's going to be a while before it comes out but um this is the best way that i've been able to figure out how to build a template to um, focus on budgeting my paychecks for each pay period so let's just go ahead and get started so for my income this is just going to be for my first job and i'm not going to focus on um the budgeted aspect because i've already gotten paid so you know it's null and void i'm just going to focus on the um actual amounts so for the first paycheck or the only income that I have right now will be um, $31.65 and that is the total. So next I'm going to go to my expenses and then the first thing I have is rent. I do pay my rent um, by half. So I do split my rent in half for each pay period. I put half of that rent amount towards um, my savings account and then I make one large payment towards the end of the month or at the second pay period. So my total rent is $18.55. So I do about $930 for each pay period. So I did that for this one. Next one is going to be Xfinity and that is $100. And then I have AT&T and that's 135. Then I have my car payment and that is 470. <clears throat> my Apple, I only do like uh, Apple Music and iCloud, so that's about $25. Planet Fitness gets $20 and I just keep that in my checking account because it is auto pay. I send my mom money for Easy Pass. I don't always use Easy Pass. I only use Easy Pass when I go home to Jersey. So that's why I send her about $10 each pay period to let it kind of, you know, even out. <clears throat> then because uh of the vacation guys i'm not even going to be stuffing much money in my envelopes this pay period i'm just going to keep it 100 i i was completely unprepared for vacation i thought i was prepared i'm like we're going to be in a cabin i don't anticipate us spending that much money guys i spent so much money not even just on vacation but because i had a procedure i didn't cook or get groceries so I ate out a lot and then I wanted to be out and watch football and go to the bar and spend crazy amounts of money on Christmas decorations so I just went buck wild I kind of just blacked out and just kept swiping my card but I had to pay that money back so for my credit card number one I had to put $713 that's my birthday but I had to put $713 in cash towards that card and then for my second credit card um i had to put 70 dollars towards it so that pretty much paid it off i have about 200 dollars in cash physical cash that i still need to deposit into the bank account for credit card number one but it's pretty much paid off i refuse to go back into debt so if i'm gonna go and black out and spend money on a credit card 
then I need to punish myself after that and take out of whatever I was planning to put towards my sinking funds and put that towards the credit card. Maybe I'll learn my lesson next time. So I'm going to add this up and see what that comes to. Um, and I almost forgot, I do have a buffer in my cash app and I put $100 towards that. So if I do that math, all right, that leaves me with nothing left over. So I have budgeted every single dollar for the current pay period or for, yeah, for this pay period. So next I'm going to go to my sinking funds um, page. And I'm going to put how much I'm putting towards each sinking fund. It's only like three of them are getting money. So the first one is going to be Rich Auntie. And that is going to get $10. Then it's going to be Car Insurance. That is going to get 37. Next, I have Uma. And she's going to get 45. My parents. No matter what I do with my budget, I cannot shortchange my parents, my dog, and the kids. <laughs> so, parents get 20. And then um, taxes, I can't shortchange IRS either. So taxes will get $50. And then um, I'll just put my savings here since I have an envelope for that. That, will, that got 25. Taxes was also, I just put that money electronically towards my savings account. So I'm just gonna, stuff fake money for both taxes and savings and that should bring me at a total of 187 so 162 for sinking funds plus savings was 187 all right let's go ahead and get stuffing okay so i literally just came back from the bank so i didn't even make time to organize this money but it looks good so I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 380, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 460, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500. Five, ten, fifteen, so five, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 16, 17. So five hundred and seventeen dollars is what I'm stuffing today. And I also have some fake bills that I need to stuff from automatic deposits. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is stuff my daily cash envelopes. So since this week is kind of almost over and I exchange my daily cash envelopes every Thursday, today is Wednesday, I'm just gonna do it for the second week. I didn't put um anything besides groceries towards the first week. So I'm gonna take groceries first. So that'll be six twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two tens. And four fives. One, two, three, four. So that's 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 45, 55, 60. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna put everything towards this um, binder that stays at home because most of my groceries are spent on my credit card and I don't wanna carry that much cash with me. I'm, I'm putting $160 towards groceries because 
I do groceries and household in the same amount or in the same category. So I might have to get $160 worth of groceries this, this week because I didn't buy any groceries last week. Like I still have to buy like water and all that stuff. So I still end up, I still may end up spending $160. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. But that'll be it for this binder, honestly. The rest will just go into this small binder. So miscellaneous is going to get $15. Guess is going to get $50. So it'll be two 20s and a 10. Because I already spent the money for gas for last week. For last weekend. Dining is going to get $100 because I already spent that money too over the weekend. So this will be for Thursday through next Thursday. So I have one, two, three, four 20s, one 10, and two fives. Now to be 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100. And because I desperately need to get my nails done tomorrow, I'm going to put three 20s, one 10, and two fives towards self-care. And that should be 20, 40, 60, 75, 80. And that's it for this binder. For the first sinking funds binder, I'm only putting money towards Rich Auntie, and that'll be a $10 bill. So now I have $20, $40, For this envelope, next is gonna be car insurance. And that's because I have to pay the car insurance um, premium, or whatever it's called. I have to pay that next month. And it's like $910. So I'm doing 37 today. So I'm going to do a 20, a 10, a 5, and two ones. 20, 35, 36, 37. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred, six fifty, seven hundred, twenty, forty, fifty, five, sixty, sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, sixty four. So I have seven hundred and sixty four dollars for car insurance. And that's it for this binder. Next one is gonna be Uma, and she's getting forty five. So it'll be two twenties and a five. And she'll now have 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, 185 for her envelope. Next, I have taxes, and that got a electronic deposit of $50. Now I have 1,050, 110. So I have $1,110 for taxes. And then next is um, savings. That got $25 as an automatic deposit. And then in the beginning of November, I also get my interest payment um so i earned i have my money in a high yield savings account so i earned interest on it and that was 31 dollars so that's 31 dollars in free money guys if you're having money stacked up in a savings account 
put it in a high yield savings. All right, so savings now has 1,000, 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 86. So $1,286 in savings. And then that's it for this binder. Lastly, I have my parents' envelope. And they are going to get the last 20. And now my parents has 100, 120, 140, 150. So um, my mom's birthday is coming up. Christmas is also coming up, so I need to probably put some more money towards this. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and press that button down below. It really helps out my channel. But until next time, guys, bye bye. And not the one that is fake. They put my number in your phone and not the one that is fake.